God bless you. May the Lord bless your hearts real good. Jesus yeah, 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 yeah. have a purpose and a plan for all our lives. Don't miss your purpose. Don't miss the plan that God through Jesus have for your life. Don't miss the purpose that God through Jesus Christ have for your life. Don't miss God's plan for your life. God have a plan and a purpose for your life, for all our lives. All right. I want mm -hmm, the eighth chapter. I think I want 28 of Romans. God plan for our life. God purpose for our life. Hallelujah. Let's see what that is. Romans 8, 28, here it is. And we know that all things work together for good to, to them that love God. We got to love God. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. If you love God, you're going to keep his commandments. You're going to keep Jesus' commandments, which is the same commandments. You're going to believe God's son, Jesus Christ, who told you to repair your sin. Believe him to make you righteous and make you holy and take away all your sin and call on him and continue to follow him. He will be filled with the Holy Ghost. And we know in the book of Romans 8, 20, this is God's plan for your life. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the call according to his purpose, not yours. You, God's purpose is not your purpose. Jesus' purpose and plan for your life is not your purpose, your plan for your life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. According to his purpose. Shandi For whom he did foreknow. One verse say, but before I fall, oh, I'm dead in your mother womb. I sanctified you. The apostle Paul say, uh, 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 God, for this purpose, God separate him from, from his mother womb. The priest of gospel. For whom he did foreknow, he did predestinate to be conformed, conformed to the image of his son, his son, the image of his son, his son, his son. Not be like nobody else. Not be, I won't be president, I won't be mayor, I won't be governor, I won't be entrepreneur, I won't be bishop, pastor, I won't be Zion and bishop. But now, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, to be conformed to the image of his son that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called, he also justified. You know, we justified by the blood of Jesus Christ without the deeds of the law. Without no offering tithe, Sabbath day, priest, temple, Romans 3, 28. Uh -huh. For whom he justified, them he glorified. What shall we say in these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? If God be for us. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up, for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all to you? Who shall lay anything to the child of God he let? It's God that justifies. Well, you don't pay tithe cause so you ain't saved. You don't go to the priest cause you ain't saved. You don't do the bills of tithe so you ain't saved. You don't go to the tabernacle. You don't uh, keep Sabbath day, keep the holy day. And you don't keep Pentecost. You don't keep... Uh,
It's God that justifies. <laughs> Who is he that condemned? It's Christ that died. Yea, rather, had risen again. Who is he was at the right hand of Yeah, Christ is on the right hand of God. You don't believe that? You ain't saved. And you live it beneath your purpose. Who also make it intercession for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Not that they be, be, be. Not many can separate you from your job, from your career, from your entrepreneur, from your political office. All you aspire to be. Yeah, somebody can separate you from that. Boss over you. They can downsize. They can put a bad report out on you. They can, bl they can blacklist you. Uh, and you too, buddy. Uh, but who? Who can separate us? My God. Who can separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, distress, persecution, famine, nakedness, pearl, or sore. Now, all those things can separate you from your personal ambition. Yes, they can, Jesus. If man, your your job will shut down. Your your clients will leave you. Tony can wipe out your whole business. Yeah, Lordy. But this is talking about the persecution that come against us from doing God's will because we are the purpose. We doing His purpose, fulfilling His purpose. And all this stuff come to stop us. My God today. And it is written, for thy sake, Jesus' sake, we are killed all the day long for his sake. Remember persecution? We are counted sheep for the slaughter. Yea, in all these things, we're more than conquered. I don't care what you do to us. We more than conquered. Hallelujah. Through him that love us. All right. Nothing shall be separated from us from the love of God. His purpose. His purpose. Let's see his purpose. Go quickly. I got to get out of here in about 15 minutes. Go quickly. I want to feed you one for I learned this in the year 1984 at the Holy Convocation at the Cook Convention Center in Memphis, Tennessee, when the late presiding bishop read this scripture. And I haven't forgotten it yet. I say he read the scripture. I'm not preaching the presiding bishop. I'm preaching the scripture. He feed the one for Now, here's his purpose. According as he had chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy, holy. Ain't no sin in holy. And Jesus makes us holy. His blood makes us holy. Remember the blood of the animal and often the tide couldn't do that. But his blood makes us holy. And the physical priesthood couldn't do that. But his blood makes us holy. Without blame, you say without blame. No sin. Before him in love. That's his purpose, that we be holy. Another verse saying, let some light so shine among me that they may see your good way. Another verse said, Jesus said, you shall be witness unto me. I would let the Holy Ghost come upon you. Another way he said, hallelujah, Jesus said, if you love me, keep my command. Jesus said, not everyone that say, Lord, Lord, said, enter in, but he that do the will of the Father. God, purpose for your life, our life, and do the will of the Father. Repent of our sin. Be born again of water and spirit, his spirit. That not sin nature. 
but God makes it. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. You that say, you ask him to fill you with the Holy Ghost. Yes, you will speak it all the time. Spirit, give us. Yes. Ask him. Ain't no argument there. You keep his commandments. Jesus said, beloved, you keep my commandments. Jesus said, he that do the will of the Father, abide with him. Do the will of the Father. Working to please him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Your labor is not in vain. His purpose for your life. Don't miss his purpose now. All right, you got said. You, uh, you, you ain't in his purpose. You had teaching the contrary to the word of God. You had teaching the law of Moses, teaching the tithe and offering. You ain't, that's not his purpose. That's your purpose. You had said so a seed for a miracle. You had said it. You're, uh, you're, not, you're, you're not following the purpose that God has for you. He said repent. You say don't worry about what. You, you ain't living according to his purpose. All right, let me leave it there. God have a purpose and plan for your life. And his purpose is not your purpose, but his purpose. So let your life shine to be a witness for him, to obey him, to keep his command, to work the work of him that sent you while in the day, to do the will of the Father. Don't do the will of your father, the devil. Just on your father, the devil. This is him I said. You come to Jesus. You come to God the Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Preach Jesus Christ. Preach the word. Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Salvation through him. Repentance and remission of sin through him. Your sin washed away. He's a liar. He will do that, people. You that say you have no sin, that you have sin. Christ will take away your sin. He'll cleanse you from your sin. The blood of Jesus, the Son of God. Believe him. Do you want that? You call on him and ask him to save you, ask him to clean you from your sin. Even ask him to fill you with the Holy Ghost. And you continue in his word. Jesus said, if you continue my word, you are my disciple of Jesus. All right, let's leave it there. God had a purpose for your life. Don't you miss it. His purpose ain't your purpose. Thank you for it.